Hello everyone, this is a question of CSIR net and uh, this question have two parts and we have to find out true and false. Actually this question based on the concept of row space, column space and null space of a matrix. Uh, now come to first part, there exists a matrix N belongs to M4R. Uh, we labeled their uh, rows and columns. Now also given that row space of a matrix N is a span by two vectors that is 1 1 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 1 comma 1 these two vector form basis of uh, row space open and uh, and also given that 1 2 1 4 belongs to null space of matrix n as we know that as we know that Uh, row space of a matrix N orthogonal complement equals to null space of N. This this uh, result uh, implies that uh, every vector in a row space of N is orthogonal to every vector in a null space of N. Now uh, one two. This implies that one two one four belongs to null space is orthogonal to 1 1 1 minus 1 and 1 2 1 4 orthogonal to 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 because if 1 2 1 4 orthogonal to every vector of row space this implies that 1 2 1 4 orthogonal to basis of a row space of n uh, this implies that here we use standard norm so this this uh, orthogonal uh, product uh, equals to 1 2 1 minus 4 this is equals to 0 because 4 minus 4 0 and 1 minus 2 1 minus 4 this is equals to 2 minus 6 which is equals to minus 4 which is not equals to 0 this implies that uh, there this implies that uh, there does not exist a matrix n belongs to m4r such that this is basis of row space of n and this vector belongs to null space uh, this implies that uh, first statement is false if uh, in examination all if we not remember this formula we can also use this uh, explanation for this question as row space of n is span by 1 1 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 1 comma 1 uh, this implies that uh, every row of uh, matrix n is a linear combination of uh, these two vectors that is that is there exist c1 and c2 uh, in general we let c1 and c2 not equals to 0 uh, such that there exists uh, ri which is equals to c1 1 1 1 minus 1 plus c2 1 minus 1 1 1 this implies that ri is equals to uh, c1 plus c2 minus c1 minus c2 c1 plus c2 minus c1 plus c2 uh, this ri is a row of is a row of matrix n now we also given that uh, 1 2 1 minus 4 belongs to null space of n this implies that n into 1 2 1 4 this vector gives us 0 that is 0 0 0 0 because this vector belongs to null space of n now now uh, as n 1 2 1 4 equals to uh, we let uh, i is equals to 1 and you can also choose i is equals to 1 2 3 4 
scoring to yourself. So I let i is equals to 1 here. This implies that c1, c2, c1 minus c2, c1 plus c2, minus c1 plus c2. Uh, other rows according to given question. Now 1, 2, 1, 4 equals to 0, 0, 0, 0. Now come to the next page. Uh, we get C1 plus C2 uh, plus 2C1 minus 2C2 plus C1 plus C2 minus 4C1 plus 4C2 equals to 0. According to above, uh, this implies that after cancellation, we get 4C2 equals to 0. This implies that C2 equals to 0. But we let C2 non-zero. This implies that statement 1 is incorrect. Second statement, in which we have given that there exists a matrix N such that, uh, such that uh, uh, column space of M is a span by 1, 1, 1, 0, comma, 1, 0, 1, 1, uh, and 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 1, 0 belongs to null space of n. Now, we know that there is no relation there is no relation between column space of n and null space of m so we use rank nullity theorem As we know that dimension of column space of a matrix M equals to dimension of range space of matrix M. This is equals to rank of M. And in question second part, we have given that. Uh, uh, a basis, uh, basis has two elements. This implies that dimension of column space of a matrix equals to 2. This implies that rank of matrix M is equals to 2. Now, we are given that in a second part, uh, 1, 1, 1, 1 and vector 1, 0, 1, 0 belongs to null space of matrix M. Uh, as 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 1, 0 is not LD. LD means linearly independent. Because 1 is not scalar multiple of other. This implies that 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 1, 0 these two vectors are Li vector. That dimension of null space greater than equals to 2 as using rank nullity theorem uh, we have 
rank of m plus nullity of m is equals to number of columns number of columns in m implies that rank of m is equals to 2 plus nullity of m is equals to uh, number of columns in m is equals to 4 this implies that rank of m is equals to 4 minus 2 which is equals to 2 uh, this implies that uh, there exists a matrix m belongs to m4r such that uh, 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 is the basis of column space of m and 1 1 1 1 and 1 0 1 0 belongs to null space because from this two vector we have find out that dimension of null space greater than equals to 2 and from this we have find out uh, nullity is equals to 2 this satisfy this equation this implies that statement 2 is true the second part we also have an example for this that is let m is equals to a matrix 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 0 1 0 minus 1 uh, we have this matrix for second part 4 cross 4 order here M one 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 equals to one zero one zero equals to zero 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 zero. These two vector belongs to null space, and these two vector belongs to null space of M, and this C one and C two is a basis of uh, column space of M which is spanned by C1, C2, C3 and C4. This implies that statement 2 is correct. So come to options. Uh, statement second is true. This implies that option one correct, option B, C and D are incorrect.